Just another one of my sententious truisms. There are five world religions. Christianity, yeehaw, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism. I will brook no quibble that Judaism and Hinduism are not world religions. Judaism seeks no converts, and Hinduism is primarily a national religion like Shinto, and if so, why not Confucianism? Just, just play along. Each of these systems has had, at various periods of its history, secular power. That such power has been abused, in each case, is beyond debate. Buddhism? Has there never been a Buddhist army? So, which one of these is not like the others? Judaism and Islam have a powerful commonality. Both were uh, developed by their respective prophets, Muhammad and Moses, as theocracies, as systems of social governance. But with Judaism, the system improvised by the rabbis has long since replaced the sacrificial plan outlined in the Torah. Okay, blah, 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 get to the point. Islam thinks it needs to rule the world. It was invented by a conqueror during the glory days of his expansion, and he imagined that it must always be so. Egypt was a Christian land conquered by Islam. Syria was a Christian land invaded by Islam. Asia Minor, Turkey, Anatolia was a Christian land taken over by Islam. Well, bully for Islam, of course, survival of the fittest and all that. But when the Temple of Solomon was raised and lawful sacrifice became impossible, the Jews adapted and made a sacrifice of their good works. And I hope that works out for you fellas, even though your righteousness is as filthy rags. But when Islam lost its caliphate, well, they're planning on just getting another one. Whenever a religion thinks it needs to be a government, nightmare follows. The Aztecs, not so horrifying, the Puritans in Massachusetts, much more decent than ignorant opinion would have it, thanks, Mencken. But the Scarlet Letter wasn't an entirely unfair portrait. And what's this thing about burning women at the stake who had PMS? I think I heard something about that. The Roman Catholic Church. I have no problem with it, sort of. But when it thought it was a government, well, the Inquisitio Hereticae Pravitatis Sanctum Officium did have its excesses. In the last century, that would be the 1900s, Nazism and Communism exemplify the problem. Absolute systems, with all the answers, which claim to know the meaning of history, noted for an excess of enthusiasm with regard to genocide. Which brings us, again, to Islam, and more specifically, Islamism. Islam needs to be a government. It divides the world into two parts, Dar al-Islam, the house of submission, and Dar al-Harb, the house of war. Huh. Now, let me ponder upon the matter. Where do I fit in in this scheme? Hmm. That Islam has been quiescent in this essential for the past few centuries, it reflects no change in philosophy, but only its failure to master modern technology. Oil has provided a remedy for this backwardness. And now, Islam is poised, after its fashion, to regain its footing and resume its advance. Europe was a Christian land. America was a Christian land. 